Hello YouTube, today at uh, powerjackrepair.org we got an Asus Q547F. Uh, hardly ever get this model here because uh, people think it's the jack, but usually has nothing to do with the jack. Something on the motherboard usually goes out, but people think it might be the jack. So let's take it apart and see if I would be able to fix this guy. Or it's just a waste of my time. When it comes to PowerJack repairs, this channel has over a thousand plus videos. So if this is not exactly your model, you can look for it. The bit here is T5, Torx 5. You could look for it on our channel, if it's not exactly your model. We pretty much have every single laptop making model of the laptop taken apart on, on the channel. Pricing above are inflation adjusted. So, depends on the year when you're watching this. Uh, you could see how much we charge. On the website, please. Let's do this guy. All right, let's see if we can find the something like that. Now, the laptop are right dead, it doesn't work at all. That's usually never a good thing. Usually, it's better to to have a laptop that sometimes works. I wonder if there are screws underneath those guys here. With those pads that connect to the hinge. No, they're not there. Let's take this guy off. Now let's see. That's the connector right there. Doesn't look bad in any way, shape or form. So what I want to do is I want to disconnect the battery. Seems like somebody already been here, done something because of the too many markings. All right. So the way you disconnect the battery is you slide this connector that way. Many people just rip off the the cable and the whole uh, the whole battery connector here breaks off, and we have to solder this guy to the motherboard. So what I want to do is I want to take a look if maybe we get the current through just a little bit through the board let's take a look so we plug that in and let's see if we're getting anything And we're not getting anything. All right, so here, plug it in. Um, Nothing comes up uh, on the legs. Let's see, maybe we have a short right away. Yeah, we got a shortage on the motherboard because this guy right here shows us zero. So it has nothing to do with the jack. So basically the current goes from here to here, from here to here, then it goes over here. But if you're getting a short here, that means there is a short there. So another time wasted. Um, yeah, well, since it's here, let's take a look if we can find where the short is at. I mean, I do have a lot of work, but since the video is already powered on, Let's just 
take a look and see maybe we can troubleshoot the the situation here all right so um how i want to take care of this thing all right so the shortage is not right here because we we get the the good uh, the good current here not current but uh, i mean we don't get a shortage on this end we do have something on this end yeah could be on this side could be on the other side we usually look for a bear marks anyways it's gonna be a take apart video all right so let's take it apart I mean, I'm at the point in life where I could, you could tell me the model, I could tell you. <laughs> I could tell you if it's something that's worth fixing or something that fried on the motherboard. I mean, people just send the laptop thinking as the connector, but the connector has nothing to do with anything here, obviously. So, here, take this guy out. All right, so I guess take apart video all right like that like that like that like that all right wi-fi cables i'm gonna get the wi-fi cables out of the way let's see need to need to unscrew the hinge area All right. By the way, if you got exactly the same model and you figured out what the problem is, you might want to leave a comment below so that other people would be able to to troubleshoot this thing and see. All right, so it seems like everything disconnected here. There might be a screw under the heatsink. Might be, might be not. Hmm. French. Oh, well, that's probably wasn't the screw, but but still. Is there one? I don't see any other screws here. Could be under the pad right there it could be it's just no that was the screw you know what here all right on this side we don't see anything because there it's covered by the insulation pad the connector looks perfectly fine on this end yeah so let's see if you're going to be able to find the shortage obviously we're first looking for the uh, something obvious like the burn mark or something and on this end, the burn mark is probably under the heatsink because you see this heatsink goes underneath and it could be pressing onto the motherboard and that's what it causing be not be causing the short or maybe the CPU or GPU burn out. Even though fans are spinning, this whole metal plate right here might be causing a short as well. And is that a button of some sort? Well, anyways. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a wire right here, solder wire, put the voltage through it, and we're going to take a look on the thermal camera if, uh, if the, anything shows up. Alrighty, so here let's take a look. And then what I probably need to add some flux to the area. Right here like that let's bring this guy and let's solder this guy right there all right so once this guy soldered 
we're gonna do is we're gonna apply some voltage through the cabling system so what i wanna do is i wanna remove some flux Alrighty, so what we got is we got the power supply and we're gonna connect this guy right there that's the negative side we're gonna connect the positive right here like that like that all right we're gonna power up the power supply and i put it on 19 volts 2 amps and i want some glasses because if it's a capacitor all right so let's press the power now let's see if you're going to be able to see anything on the floor now obviously shows the shortage on the power supply here Yeah, here is what it shows, the shortage right there. Uh, but what hits up is the cable here. And what hits up is the CPU right there. Here, let me show you. Right there. So it's either CPU or a... This is might be GPU, maybe CPU. But the problem is... Yeah, right there you see this is the heat up spot so it's either the cpu that went bad or a gpu not sure which one is which but that's the only heat spot i get and you see there is no point in working on this laptop you know what let me shut down the lights let me the lights here <laughs> that would be much better so here is the point right here, right here. Everything else seems to be perfectly fine. Right there, that's a cable. And, and that's the CPU, GPU that hits up. See on this end. Yeah, we got a heat spot right here and the CPU or a GPU. So this is uh, this is no use. I mean, uh, I obviously not going to replace the GPU or CPU on this laptop. So we are pretty much done here. What I need to do is I need to desolder the cable here and put everything back together because. Uh, uh, either this guy or that guy is heating up whichever was the one I seen okay looks good alrighty well, let's desolder the cable all right and <laughs> it seems like i work in a dungeon i mean it's it's all there is a lot of good lights here um yeah so that's the reason i wanted to make this video is so that if you never had to wiggle the connector there is no need to send the uh, motherboard to us because uh, on on this one it's probably the cpu gpu that uh, overheated and died so at least i opened it up and show you how to take it apart all right, thanks so much, guys, and uh, you guys take care and have a good day. Thank you. Bye. Oh, a like would be appreciated. Thanks.